The petitioners filed a total of nine petitions. By Saturday, uh, last Saturday, 27th of um, August, all the responded, respondents had put in their responses. And as at yesterday evening, we had the petitioners again file all their rejoinders. So all the filings have been done. And uh, today, Tomorrow we are expecting the pre-trial uh, session right here at the ceremonial hall. Remember the last two petitions have been done at the Supreme Court, but the space there is so restricted, it's so limited. Uh, this is the only other place that we could find uh, within Nairobi, uh, you know, to help us conduct the process in a, in, in a, in a better way because we have struggled with space and some of you participated in the last process so you, you have an idea what we're talking about. We also have had quite a number of interlocutory applications that have been filed by different parties. There are those who are asking to strike out the petitions, there are some who are seeking to, uh, to be included as interested parties, there are those who want to be included as amicus curiae or friends of the court, there are some who are seeking different uh, orders uh, relating to the scrutiny of the, the votes. So these applications are being uh, considered and uh, all the rulings will be delivered to the respective parties electronically. So we are going to have um, the hearings happen here at the Milimani Ceremonial Hall. All the seven judges are expected to participate. Remember in the last uh, season, we only had uh, six judges participating. This time round, we expect all of them to be present. We have some um, observers, judges from the Commonwealth countries led by the retired Chief Justice of uh, Tanzania, uh, Honorable Mohammed Othman, among other judges who will be, who will be joining us. We will have uh, the law clerks, the, the place has been set up for the law clerks, for all the court assistants, for, for the lawyers, the, 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 the parties. Obviously not everybody will be allowed to come in. Uh, we saw that uh, the, uh, the parties have large, large teams, but uh, the numbers will have to be restricted because the space cannot accommodate everybody. Uh, we will also be allowing the parties to come in, the parties uh, that will include the petitioners, the respondents, the, the, those who want to be present will be present. We are just asking that I know that a lot of people want to come in, a lot of people want to participate and be present in court. This will not be possible. There is a, we, we are allowing the media to um, you know, the broadcast the information to the public so if people can just listen from the comfort of their living rooms it will help us quite a bit um, because we don't want to run into problems with, uh, with, with crowd management. So all of us will have an opportunity to participate. We have uh, extra uh, space outside of the main courtroom we have, um, what's it called, uh, spillover, the, what's the right word? Yeah, for those who are not able to fit in, we have provided for extra space where you can just sit and, and, and follow through, uh, through the screens. So tomorrow's session, the pre-trial uh, of tomorrow is starting at about 11 o'clock. It is expected that as at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning, all the rulings relating to the interlocutory applications shall have been delivered so that the pretrial session begins without any pending applications. Um, I think, ladies and gentlemen, that's what we have so far. Uh, we have made sure that there is adequate security around. We have an ambulance in case somebody gets injured or somebody is taken ill during the process. So we are set and we are ready and we just ask 
uh, that uh, you help us in terms of going by the guidelines that are going to be issued shortly in terms of the people that are going to be able to participate physically in the courtrooms. Thank you very much, ladies well, and gentlemen. Well, uh, thank you. My name is Kennedy Moridi of NTV, and uh, one of the questions that we raise in this ceremonial room, how many people are you expecting and who will be given priority even going by that? And number two, probably you will tell it to the normal Kenyan, what does interlocutory application mean mm -hmm. and what does what is involved in a pre-trial chain? Okay, uh, we are expecting that every team will be allowed only up to four lawyers. It is still being negotiated and we are expecting that the guidelines will be provided any time now. We are going to have about 11 observers. We are going to have about uh, eight law clerks and the entire legal team from the office of the Chief Justice. They'll all be there and of course all the parties will be allowed to participate. Interlocutory applications are applications that happen before the main hearing to sort out issues that um, a particular party would have an interest in. For example, if I want to join it as an interested party, that decision has to be made before we go into that, the hearing proper. If I want the scrutiny to happen in a particular way, I have an opportunity to do that before the hearing starts. So that once all those issues are sorted out, we minimize on interference when the main hearing begins. What, how many have file requests to be friends of the court? Uh, I'm not sure about the number, but I know that in total the interlocutory applications are roughly 20. There are those that want different things, so roughly 20. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much.